know, I told these guys that um, I hope they understand why we do all that late game work that we work on. How to handle yourself in the last two minutes, last two possessions. No doubt in our mind we're going to push the pace on that last play and go make a play. Malachi made a great decision. Uh, we were really good defensively in the game as well. But uh, for this team, for everything it's gone through, similar to what Cal's gone through, uh, to come down here and play a much better, much improved Cal team from when we played them the first time. It was just a, a grinded out win for us, and I'm proud of my guys, but that Cal team has, has gotten a lot better, a lot better. This is an important game for, for Drick, the injury troubles he, he's had, and finally getting his, his offense back and placing him in the first half and obviously the last one. You know, we've made some adjustments in practice that I think have really helped him and Robo and a lot of these guys when with the work that we're doing, and, and it's starting to pay off. So I'm happy for him, but he's a little bit more healthier now. Uh, as well, but some of the adjustments that we made in practice has allowed them to do that. But uh, from Drake to uh, Milan Aqua, not played a lot of minutes at all, and almost had the perfect game out there. Really was big down the stretch with his free throws and, and his three that he hit in his defense. Uh, if you remember Malachi last year, he was in the exact same spot and missed that shot. And that's the growth from freshman to sophomore year that now this time he makes that shot, and it was huge. And, you know, they allowed us to call the timeouts and allow us to coach them in the timeouts, and I'm proud of them for hanging in there for everything they've been through so far this year. Is that kind of what you needed, guys, other than, than Robo and Malik had to step up? You talked about Milan, Drick, and especially after Carter goes out in the first half, he's been playing well, too. You know, we really started to develop our, our bench, which is some of the adjustments we've made coming down the stretch of this season to get ready for the Pac-12 tournament. Carter was on his way to having a monster game. The things he was doing in that game, his confidence finally came back to him because he had hit the wall a little bit. Uh, Robo's shot was off, but he did a lot of other good things in the game. And then Deontay Daniels has been consistent. Uh, I thought Milan made the difference in the game. Q, Quentin Henson played well in the game, too. So that bench, again, gave us some valuable minutes. How's Carter's knee? It actually was his ankle. Oh, his ankle. And, and I think he's coming. I mean, he, he's, he turned it about two weeks ago and came back from it pretty quick. And, and sometimes, you know, he, he gets scared when it happens, but you know, as I told him, he, I'm from Illinois, he's from Indiana. I know I'm tough, so he's got to come back. He, he's got to be ready to play on Saturday. We're, we're tough in that Midwest. At least that's what I told him. <laughs>